Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a review of the wines that are served on Singapore Airlines uh, Flight SQ600 from Singapore to South Korea. I'm going to compare it to my flight um, on Air Canada. So the, both were in business class um, and I was really expecting a lot because Singapore Airlines is known for its food and its wine. So um, the champagne they served on board is En Ro and on um, Air Canada was Laurent Perry. So I would give the edge here to um, the Singapore Airlines by slightly, but that's personal preference. They had um, some white wines. So the first one is the Sauvignon Blanc. And I'll just remind you on um, the uh, flight from Air Canada, they had a Australian, uh, sorry, Austrian Gruner Weltliner, which was really good. And then they had a Chilean white wine also. I think the uh, Burgundy, this um, Chartrand and Pierre Pochet, uh, Pouli Fousse, gives a little slight edge on the white wines to um, the Singapore Airline wine list. And then if I recall on the Air Canada uh, business class, they had Cote de Rhone Village and a Portuguese um, wine from Douro Valley um, for the red selection. And here they have a Chianti Classico Reserva and then a Shiraz from Australia. So again, I give a slight edge to um, Singapore Airlines for their wine list and business class, but not by much. I'd probably rate this like a C plus. Again, a slight edge in the port selection. Um, Air Canada had a just a regular Dow uh, port, whereas this one, um, Singapore Airlines has a Kopke 10 year tawny. So a little bit better. But um, for, you know, real wine aficionados, I'm not sure that this would be that exciting. It's okay. Again, C plus with my rating on this. The next couple of videos, I'm going to show you uh, what I drank on board and my reaction to the wines. So I'm here in business class at Singapore Airlines, flying from Singapore to Seoul. And uh, I did the book the chef option. I've got a lobster thermidor in front of me. And I decided to pair that with the um, 2021 Chartron and Trebuchet uh, Poulet Fousse. And so that's a burgundy. So let's try that out. Mm. It's um, got good acidity, citrusy notes. I think it, by itself, the wine is okay. If I had to give it a rating just by my initial taste, maybe 85, 86 points, but I think they'll pair really well with the lobster. Yeah, the lobster seems to round it out a bit, take up a little bit of edge out of the acidity, and give it a little bit more uh, butteriness. This is the meal that I had on board. It was um, a early flight in the morning, but I still booked the chef and was able to order a lobster thermidor. So that's really impressive. Um, I will have a link to my review of my flight on Singapore Airlines at the end of this video. But all in all, good experience. Again, an okay wine list. And the point of these videos is not to disrespect the airlines, but to hopefully encourage them to um, give better wines on board um, because I think they don't think people care. Um, but at least for me as um, a business traveler, I would love to, you know, try some wines that are really exciting to me. Um, until next time, happy drinking.